What's going on everybody, my name is Tactical FPS and I'm here today with my good buddy Mr. The Reverts and we're going to be doing a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare dual commentary but before I tell you what it's about, do you want to introduce yourself quickly? Yeah, what's going on guys, it's Mr. The Reverts here, Tactical FPS, I want to thank you for having me on your channel and so yeah, if you're watching this on mine, then please go check out Tactical's channel, the link will be down below the description and yeah, let's get this started. Alright, so actually a week ago today we actually got the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare reveal trailer at Gamescon and you know there was a lot of information, not only did we get a 3 minute trailer but we also got a hell of a lot of information regarding you know kill streaks, supply drops, exoskeleton abilities and basically the majority of what multiplayer is going to consist of. So today me and Reverts are going to be talking about what we liked of, about the actual reveal Call of Duty Advanced Warfare multiplayer and um, yeah basically what we enjoy. So do you want to start off by telling us uh, one of the things that you actually liked? Yeah the first thing that I, that I really like the most <clears throat> is the supply drop system. I like that a lot because it actually will add to the longevity of the game and will actually make players want to play the game more and players will actually have something to play for, you know what I mean? Because players are going to want to unlock special items, better guns and stuff like that to make them play better. So I really do like that idea a lot. I think it's going to make the people want to play the game more even after they get 10th prestige because players are going to want to unlock like certain abilities or cer certain camos for your exosuits. Uh, some player customization items, stuff like that. I think that's going to be really interesting, and I think a lot more players are going to want to play Advanced Warfare even after they reach the final prestige of the game. Yeah, see, the thing I liked um, about supply drops, because I was going to mention as well, was actually the fact that they're catering to the players that may not be that good, because they actually did mention you can get kill streaks that come in at certain points in the game, and uh, the example they gave was uh, the orbital care package, and it would come in at two minutes in the game, and it wouldn't be a game-changing kill streak. Um, but it would be something that would, you know, help the play out, maybe like a UAV or a Hellstorm strike. But it was, you know, some players aren't always good enough that every game they can get a kill streak. So it's interesting that they're sort of catering to everybody in a way. So I really like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I also heard you can actually get perks from there too as well. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, that is actually pretty interesting. Um, but. Something I really liked as well, and I know a lot of us, you know, gave a big sigh of relief when we found out, was that uh, the cloaking was really quite balanced, and the fact that, you know, we saw a bit of it in the teaser trailer where somebody used it to evade a new kill streak, actually, which was the Goliath, which basically is a, a future juggernaut. And, you know, it showed off how basically cloaking lasts for, you know, probably no more than 10 seconds. It should only really be used in those situations. And I really like that, especially. I mean, what did you think of it? Yeah, the cloaking, I think it's going to be a lot more tactical. And you have to choose when you actually want to cloak. Like, say, if you're trying to pull a flag in CTF, you don't want to waste it, obviously. So you want to use it in in spots where you know that someone's going to be there and you, you're trying to get to an objective, stuff like that. So, And like you said, it will last no more than 10 seconds, of course. I mean, I don't even think it will last like about 10 seconds. Not even that, so... Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I do think it's not going to be overpowered at all. And so many people are freaking out about it. I mean, honestly, there's no reason to freak out about it at all. I mean, it's not going to be overpowered. Yeah, I mean, I think to be honest, the only t I don't think it will be something that'll actually be run a lot. I mean, I'll be, I think it will be run when the game first comes out. You know, because everyone will be excited to see what it's like. But it will die down eventually. And I think the only people who will really be running it will be those who play game modes such as Search and Destroy or Capture the Flag, as you mentioned, or maybe even. Um, hard point if you want to sneak in there contest the hard point for a few seconds to make sure you know the enemy don't steal the points but i think you know eventually the novelty will wear off of cloak and it'll go back to you know being the normal call g yeah yeah i mean honestly like there's actually better exo abilities than the cloaking and like you said the exo the cloaking doesn't last long at all but there's a there's a sprint ability for your exo suit that makes you sprint a hell of a lot longer than uh, than, than what the cloaking time does for the exosuit. So I think players are going to actually use that more. And there's also like a, um, what the juggernaut like health points for your exosuit. I'm not sure what the name of it is, but it just adds more health Exo to your stim. player. Yeah, exostim. There you go. Yeah, that. Uh, I think more players are going to use that. And then the speed boost, uh, the dashing also. There's just going to be so much more exo abilities players are going to want to use in the cloaking. Alright, so uh, have you got another point that you actually really liked about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare? Yeah.
Yeah, no, this is actually for, this might be for certain players, but uh, I really do like Clan Wars, how it's coming back. Now, they didn't really touch that much about it in the reveal, but Clan Wars is coming back to Advanced Warfare, and I did love Clan Wars a lot in Call of Duty Ghosts because you can just unlock special camos and player customization items that not, not that many people had, and when players saw you had that in the lobby, they would seriously, like, start freaking out. They'd be like, oh my god, this player is really good, you know, because if you just out. saw someone, yeah, if you just saw one in full, saw a player in full war cry they would be that actually would kind of piss their pants a little bit but <laughs> but i mean yeah it is pretty nice it is i do like clan wars a lot and i'm glad it's coming in advanced warfare yeah i mean uh clan wars was something i already got into i sort of really enjoy league play a lot more back in uh black ops 2 you know i was sort of you know fingers crossed and toes crossed that you know league play would come back but clan wars i think is probably you know it's the second best of the bunch and yeah, it will be good, I think, actually, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Now, um, my final point that I wanted to make was actually on the different variations of guns. And uh, they actually mentioned um, during the press conference that um, Michael Condry had with everybody who was there about how there won't be, you know, just one MTAR, for example, or, you know, one PDW. Obviously, those guns won't be in the game, but those are just examples. You know, there'll be variations where the gun will have more damage, uh, slower fire rate, or it'll have a higher fire rate, and it'll have less distance that the bullets can travel at high damage. So, you know, it's really interesting that they've made the game so big and how, you know, they said you can have over, I think, 150 variations of weapons, attachments, and perks. So, you know, it's it's great that they've tried to make the game last longer than just 10 or 15 prestiges, depending on what they choose. I mean, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that a lot. And it also adds to, like I said, the player customization. You really get to choose the guns that you like that fit your play style. And they really did make that big in Advanced Warfare. So uh, I, I do really like a lot of guns in Advanced Warfare and the very different variations of it. Yeah, so pretty good. All right, do you have another mm -hmm. point? Yeah, uh, I really do like the map layouts. Now, if you guys don't know, the maps are going to be medium size to small size. Basically, what we've seen in the past Call of Duty is not these big maps like we had in Call of Duty Ghost. Actually, the maps are pro like the gun on gun battles are going to be a lot fast paced now because you're going to have people double jumping and it's just going to be a lot more fast paced gameplay, axle sliding, stuff like that. It's going to be a lot more fast paced and you're going to have to be ready to get into gun battles immediately when you join the match and you start the game. So, so this is a tip for you guys who are going to get advanced warfare be ready for anything because you're going to see a lot of players doing the double jumps so and look up in the sky too so <laughs> you're going to see a lot yeah. of that yeah them sensor grenades are going to be being used a lot <laughs> especially to yeah. take those good old campers but yeah, yeah uh so this was basically our roundup of what we thought of call g advanced warfare multiplayer review i mean there is a lot more to come as you all know we still got the co-op trailer and we still got obviously a few bits to find out still about multiplayers that was only the demo they showed us of uh call g advanced warfare multiplayer so if you thought that was big there is a lot to come still but um thank you very much mr reverts for coming out and doing this commentary with me no problem, man. Yeah, so uh, if you actually haven't heard of Mr. Reverts yet, link to his channel will be in the description on the screen now. Make sure you go and check him out. Bigger than me and probably got better content than me depending on uh, what sort of content you like. So make sure you go and check him out. And thank you very much for watching, everybody. And if you did enjoy the gameplay in the background, which will be some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, as you will have noticed, please drop a like. And if you're new, subscribe to me and Mr. Reverts. And until next time, goodbye. Later, guys.